there's commonly a need when you're drafting to apply some hatching to indicate, say, some paving which will run through this area here. You may well have a, a flat area here and then some steps, another flat area and more steps. So we'd want to hatch this area with some sort of pattern that represents the sort of paving that you specify. It is best to draw a polyline around any area that you want to pave and you can see a polyline is a relatively simple shape. What I've done over here is show you that for that same, same shape you can have lots of different hatching patterns running from a herringbone pattern if you see here AR herringbone to another pattern here which is called a flagstone flagstone 2 and what we've done is to gather those hatch patterns and put them in a a file. I'm working in the imperial environment here, but there's a corresponding one for the metric environment. So if we say draw and hatch, pick our polyline and right click, we want to look for a file, which in this case is called GCAD imperial pattern. Now we're improving this over time. We're adding patterns to it, which do work in the GCAD plus environment. We harvest a number of these from the internet and so on. So if we if we pick now the down arrow, now that, that file has been loaded, and it's different from the one which comes with your default drawing, which will be just called uh, ACAD ISO or ACAD, um, just ACAD in fact, it'll be different. So we loaded a different pattern file. If we look at the pattern file now and scroll down through here, we'll find a number of extra patterns that we've added. One called Gravel One we'll try. So we click it and we get a little preview there and we'll just simply OK it. And you can see that the density of that hatching is too great. So if we select it and come over here, we can adjust its scale, make it five times bigger. So there we are with some hatching in that area in a pattern which you or your construction team might like. So it's a matter of selecting and finding the sort of hatch pattern that will work in your environment. We aim one day to gather all these together, all these thoroughly tested ones, uh, and put them in one file. But you can perhaps help by helping us know these are standard AutoCAD pattern files. If you find one that works in GCAD+, please let us know.